Now we will see how we can use chain rule in functional several variables to solve related rates problems. Okay, do you remember, recall in Cap 1 we did related rates and what you used to have in related rates is like, I don't know, a man is walking towards the light and how, given that his speed is this much, how fast is his shadow increasing or decreasing as he walks close to the light, he goes away from the light. Um, and so you used to find the relationship between his shadow length and his distance to the light and then you, 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 know, you go ahead and differentiate those, that relationship or equation with respect to t and then you plug in the, the rates of change of his distance with respect to t and you find out how much will be his rate of change of the shadow with respect to t uh, rate of uh, change of his length of his shadow so we have something similar here but now you will, you will have a function of more than one variable volume uh, and surface area radius, the radius of a right circular cylinder so here is your cylinder the radius is increasing uh, at 6 cm per minute and the height is shrinking at 4 cm per minute okay? what are the rates of change of the volume and surface area when the radius is 12 cm and the height is 36 All right. so here, this is your edge and this is your radius and your function you are looking at is a function of both h and r is pi uh, wait, the volume, sorry yeah, this is a pi r square h, right? this is in centimeter cube because it's volume uh, pi r square is the, the area of the face of cylinder times the height gives you the total volume and surface area as a function of h and r um, well, the surface area of the, the top and bottom uh, circular faces is pi r square plus another pi r square for the bottom and the surface area of this cylinder to skin the height is h and for it to open it it will be the length of the circumference of the circle which is 2 pi r 2 pi r h ok I'll do the volume, volume example and you can do the surface area on your own I mean I already developed the formula but the problem itself ok so volume is a function of h and r and each of these is, is changing with respect to time h is a function of time h of t and r of t so we are asked how, what is the rate of change of the volume so one easy something nice to think about the, the radius is increasing at 6 centimeters per minute and the height is decreasing at 4 centimeters it's not even obvious to me right now um, if, if I'm newcomer at this thing is the overall volume of the cylinder increasing or decreasing? No, no worries, we'll find out. So, the equation will be dv dt would be partial of v with respect to h times dh dt plus partial of v with respect to r times dr dt, right? This is just using the basic chain rule that we have seen in the previous videos. So what we do is we go ahead and start plugging the values dv dh, okay? dv dh would be dv dh, here is your dv, uh, dv dh is pi r square pi r square and dh dt now dh dt it says height is decreasing at 4 centimeters per minute so dh dt is minus 4 centimeters per minute right minus 4 centimeters per minute and plus dv dr dv dr is 2 pi r h times uh, dr dt and dr dt is the radius increasing at 6 centimeters per minute 6 centimeters per minute ok now I still need to plug these values and that's why I'm telling you at the moment when the radius is 12 and the height is 36 so I plug those values and have this radius is 
12 centimeters, so it's 12 square, and the centimeter square times minus 4 uh, centimeter per minute plus 2 pi r is 12, x is 36, and that's again centimeter times centimeter centimeter square times 6 centimeter per minute. And if you do the math of all this, uh, so you have uh, 144, 12 square is 144, minus 4, so that's, you know, whatever, it's, it's minus um, pi times 4 times 144, and plus 2 times, so it's 24. 24 times 6 is 144, 144 times 36, so that's plus 144 times 36 times 5, okay, uh, centimeter cube per minute, okay, all of this, right, so we'll compute this as one big number, uh, and I apologize if I made a numerical mistake, you have this big number, evaluate it, and it will be centimeter cube per minute. That makes sense because we're doing dv dt. The rate of change of volume obviously should be the unit of volume or the unit of time, centimeter cube per minute. And it looks like it will be a positive number in this case because the height is quite thick. So even though the height is shrinking at a lower rate and radius is increasing fast, um, but, but because the height is big, uh, it is still currently the, the rate of growth of the volume. The volume is actually increasing. You could do the same with the surface area. Okay? So, this is an a, a example of a related rates applied problem um, where we used the idea of a, a chain rule to make our calculation easier and systematic. Uh, that finishes for us section 13.5 which is chain rules for functions of several variables and how this could be used for solving various problems.